everyone! I'm here to do my Christmas slash December haul, and in no way am I bragging about the books I got. I really appreciate all of them. I got a bunch of manga. I got the four of the books that I'm missing from the Is This a Zombie series, and there's one more that I need. But this series is about a teenage boy who gets murdered and brought back by a necromancer that he has to live with, and he finally, suddenly finds himself in a world filled with magical girls and creatures and spirits and stuff like that. So it's a really good series and all. And that's what the covers look like. I really like the drawings and these are really good. And this is by Sachini Kimura. That's how you spell it. Next manga I got it was Rosario and Vampire number four. And this is about a boy who fails his entrance exams and has to go to a school and his dad finds a school that will accept him, but the catch is it's a school for monsters and they kill any human that enters it. So he has to hide his humanity from all of the monsters. And it's just a really interesting series. And it's really, really funny. So if you like monsters and things like that, you may like this. And this is by Akisha Akida. I think that's how you spell it. I would say it, spell it. Yeah, yeah, Crystal. I think that's how you say it. The next book that I received is Ender's Game by Orson Scott. Ugh. The next book that I received is Ender's Game by Orson Stark. Ugh. The next book that I received is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And to my knowledge, this is about a kid that's about the age of 13, and he is the only one that can fly a ship to save the world. So it's about him doing that. And then from my mom, ever so kindly, I received the Divergent series. And this is about a girl named Beatrice who lives in a world where you live in factions and you take a test when you're 16 to figure out which faction you belong in. You can, change, you can choose to stay in the faction that you're born in, but a lot of people like to change up factions because they fit in more with the other culture. And it's about her being different from the other ones and not getting a specific faction and how she has to handle that because the government does not like it. And that series has the books Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiance. And this book series is by Veronica Roth. And I've read the first two and they're awesome and I'm about to read this as soon as I'm done filming and editing this. Yep. And for the last book I was given as a Christmas present is Minecraft, the essential handbook. And it was just like a cutesy funny gift for my boyfriend because he knows I like Minecraft. two books that I bought and I actually accidentally mentioned one that I bought and that was the Rosario Vampire so I bought that one did not receive it for Christmas the first one that I received the first one that I bought is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and I haven't read anything by him yet so I'm interested to see how this book is and what it's about because I'm not actually sure I just no, it's about a hobbit that lives with dwarves. That's about it. So, can't really explain what it's about. The cover is really pretty. Can't really see because of the light glare. Oh, oh, there we go. Pretty cover. The next book is Incantation by Alice Hoffman. And once again, pretty cover. And I think it has to do something with Jewish people and like in Germany and stuff. I'm pretty sure. So it should be interesting because I like things like that about kind of the Jewish culture and what they had to go through and stuff like that. The next book that I bought is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making and this is by Catherine M. Valente and this is a kids book but I've heard a lot of people talking about it here and they're not children talking about it. So if they liked it, I think I'll probably like it too. And that is the cover, and it is awesome. Yep. So I'm excited to read that. Plus Neil Gaiman said it was good, so it must be. The next book I have is Berserk by Michael Grant, and this is about a world... It's kind of like a apocalyptic book, a post-apocalyptic book, maybe. I'm not completely sure. But I've heard a lot of people talking about it. It's supposed to be really, really good. The next book will be no surprise to any of you, but it is 
The Last Hero by Ricky Rodin, which is the spin-off series of the Percy Jackson series. So when I finish that, I can begin this. And once again, awesome cover. And to go with that book, I got The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, which is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is the spin-off of the Percy Jackson the Bean series. So I'm excited for it. This next book I got is called A Mango-Shaped Space. And this is about a girl who sees kind of in certain things in color, like how we see letters and numbers and stuff, she sees colors to match those letters and numbers. It just seemed really interesting, and this is by Wendy Mass. And this next book I'm excited to read, but it annoys me because I thought this was a sticker. It's not a sticker. It's going to be on there forever. Slightly depressed about it. But it's Fallen by Lauren Kate. And this I've heard good and bad about, so I'm going to read it and decide for myself. But I don't really know what this is about either. Lately I've just been taking people's advice and reading books they like. So, not totally sure what this is about. But I do know what this is about. It's Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. And so excited for this. It's about an assassin that wants her freedom and she's just a badass protagonist chick and it's awesome. I mean, look at that cover. You can just tell she knows what's going on. So, excited to read that. And lastly, I got The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead and this is the first book in the Vampire Academy series and I want to see the movie so I'm going to read the book first. Probably this month. Pretty positive. So, yep. That is the last book that I got, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you subscribe to my channel, you can see when I read some of these in my to be reads. So, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye.